Hi, I'm Lori Green. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a recipe straight out of a Barefoot Contessa cookbook. This recipe is for stewed berries over vanilla ice cream. This was a great recipe a couple years ago when I had some folks over for dinner and I really didn't want to serve them a very heavy dessert. I just wanted something light and easy. It was a summer night and I just didn't want to uh, overwhelm them with anything. Flipped through some of my cookbooks, I found this one, and sure enough, it pleased the entire crowd. It was easy, it was quick, and it didn't require very many special tools or ingredients at all. Um, you can do this inside and in your kitchen stove. You can certainly move your pan outside and do it on the grill. What we're gonna start with today, though, is we're gonna start with um, about a half a pint of raspberries, a half a pint of blackberries, and about a cup or so of quartered strawberries. We're gonna add those to a pan on our stove. I've got my trusty Le Creuset pan. If you watch me often, you see this pan over and over again. It is my little workhorse pan. Stainless steel, it, it can do just about anything. Um, I'm gonna add as well a cup and a half of sugar, just regular granulated sugar. I'm going to do a half of a cup of water and a splash of raspberry liqueur. You don't have to add raspberry liqueur if you don't have it. I know that uh, it's probably one of those bottles that uh, when you buy a big bottle like this, you're really not going to use it that often. So if you want to skip it, it's quite all right. If you do add it, don't worry, the liqueur part of it is going to cook off because we're going to bring this to a boil and we're going to let it simmer. So you can even serve this to children um, or, like I said, you can leave the liqueur out of it completely and serve it to your, your teenagers and, you know, your little kids and you won't even notice the difference. You won't notice that it's not there. We're going to turn the heat on high. We're going to give this a little stir. We don't want to crush the, the fruit, so just be careful. This is a great dish to make while your coffee is brewing. Um, you don't have to stand vigilant at the stove with this one. You can just kind of get it going, bring it up to a boil, and then like I said, it's going to simmer for about 10 minutes. So it, it's really, really nice and easy. And wait till you see what we're going to do and how we're going to present it. Brought this to a boil. Now it's time to, time to turn this down to a simmer and let it go for about 10 minutes. simmered for 10 minutes and I think it's ready. So we're going to bring it over and get it ready for serving. Our stewed fruit is ready to serve to company. So I've got um, a little bit of really good quality ice cream here. And again, this came from a local dairy, Arthusa Dairy in Litchfield, Connecticut. And it is absolutely decadent vanilla ice cream. And so if you have um, a, a local dairy, you know, splurge a little bit because this was an inexpensive dessert to kind of whip up make the ice cream something special, something they'll remember. We're just going to put a little bit of ice cream in this beautiful martini glass. And for my desserts when I have folks over, I like to take out different shaped glasses. I don't like to put it into bowls and it, I want to do something unexpected. So I've broken out some of my water for today and um, I'm going to make this presentation just absolutely spectacular for my guests. I'm going to stir a spoon a little bit of the stewed fruit right over the top. You can see the steam coming up as it hits the cool ice cream. And now I'm going to garnish that. You can sprinkle on a little bit of crushed cookie. If you've got, um, say, some ginger snaps, you can kind of crush them, crumble them, and put them on the top. Or you can simply serve it with um, a little bit of mint. So I think that everybody will enjoy this. I know that I will. So thank you very much for joining me in the kitchen today. And as always, I encourage you to subscribe on our YouTube channel um, or go visit my website at shoperg.com. Follow along on the blog or on Facebook or any of those other social media sites that we've got going on. Or you can always come and see me down in our Woodbury, Connecticut store. Thank you, and we'll see you again in the kitchen soon.